today we will discuss about how to create your own custom command in Splunk okay so there are there are different kinds of Splunk commands we know right like generating commands reporting commands streaming commands like that so today mainly we will focus about how to create our own generating custom command in next videos I will discuss about different other kinds of commands we can create now generating commands are like commands which generate events like input lookup command if you give input lookup then lookup file name it gives you the content of the lookup file right so so generating commands are like they generate events and it has to be the first command in the search okay now to create your own generating command you need two things one is a commands.conf file okay first i'll give you the structure so today what we'll do as you as you as you have seen in my previous videos we have created this tmdb app right so in this app we will add that custom command and what it will do basically it will call a tmdb api and it will give you the gener id and their name the output if you run that command from the splunk prompt okay so before we discuss the API first let me explain you what are the mandatory things you need to create your own custom command so to do that I'm going to my TMDB app okay the first thing you need in your default folder I'll create a commands.conf file this is what I'll do here I'll just create a file called commands.conf and I'll save it to my one. So in the commands.conf, the file, the stanza name will be the command name. Okay. The stanza name will be the command name. And it will write or it will basically run a Python file which will call that API and, and give the data to Splunk for display. Okay. So I'll say file name is equals to git channel dot okay I'll save this file to my Splunk app etc apps tmdb and I'll save it in default folder and I'll name it as cowmands dot com file okay so this is a commands.conf is a very specific file in Splunk which will list all the different different custom commands you have in your system okay so now the second thing is you need to develop this getgenerator.py file right so similar way what we will do we will save this into our bin folder okay so now before I start developing this Python file, let me show you what I wanted to do here. So now if you go inside the TMDB API list under Gener, there is a movie movie general list. Okay. So what it requires, it requires the API key. I have explained how to gain the API key in my, pre in my previous video, so you can you can watch out that one. Now there is a try it option here. I will try it out with my API key okay and if i send that request it gives me a json output with geners and with different ids and their names okay so this id and name will be when i will run this plunk command this id and name will be my two columns and this output will be there in this plunk okay so to do that let us develop the python script first so i'll just first import so language Python this is now Python provides sorry Splunk provides a Python module called InterSplunk. Okay, we'll use this one to give the data to Splunk, output the data to Splunk. Okay, and then I'll import json okay and i need to call the api so i will import the python request module 
boosts as IQ. Okay. So now after that we will develop a generic script to call the TMDB API. If you if you have seen my previous videos, I already developed that script when I was discussing the modular input, scripted input. So I will copy that code from there. Okay, so this is my TMDB API call. Now what I'll do is I'll develop another function. Okay, which will basically give me the general detail. So get Jenner detail okay so what it will do so let me hard code my api key here so i have already my api key okay so now after that my request URL will be this genre, genre URL so movie list okay and then it requires only one parameter which is API key and that has to be in Splunk dictionary format so what I will write is API underscore key will be my API key this API key ok so now I have done that so I will call this method tmdb API to get the general list will be my tmdb API call with this request URL and this parameter So that's done. If you see, it is returning as a JSON format. So I will parse it as JSON only. To do that, I will do JSON dot terms my channel list. Okay, fair enough. So now. Before I write the next line, let me explain to you. Now, when you send this data to Splunk, it has to be key value pair format so that Splunk can identify the different different columns or different different fields from the data you have sending to Splunk. Now, that's why when we when we parse this data or when we send this data to Splunk, we'll send it as a Python dictionary because Python dictionary is the key value pair, right? So so to do that, what I'll do now is I'll look through this JSON data. Okay. Channels in, in data. Okay. Now if you see here the node name is Janus, right? So that's why I'm giving you Janus here. So that it will give me the list of journals. Okay. Now, and if you see here in this loop, each and every uh, each and every general we are we will be looping through. That means this one will be the first one, this one will be the second one, and then when I will send it to Splunk, if you see it is it it will be already in dictionary format, key value format, and when I will send it to Splunk, I will send as a list of dictionary. So to do that, I'll create a empty list genus okay now I will append this G genus dot append my genus okay so till now this is fine so what I will do is go to my app etc. Apps TMDB inside the bin. I will save it as get journals. 
okay the py file okay mm, so now i'm I, my my list is list is done so now i will call this program genus equals to get genre title so it will give me the list list of dictionaries now i'll send this data to splunk so that's why i will be using this one splunk dot enter splunk has a output results method out put results okay and that i will send to this guy okay so so what i am doing it over here i am getting that list and sending it to splunk okay so my my script is ready my commands.conf is ready so what i'll do now i'll restart my splunk once okay server control restart splunk so while my splunk is restarting so let me explain it again so what i am doing here i am writing a program to call the api then i am calling this api with this api key getting the data as a json looping through that json and appending those dictionary values into a general list and i am sending that general list through splunk dot enter splunk dot output result by output results method so now when i will run this command now in my tmdb app i'm going inside my tmdb app so as it is generating command i have to give a pipe here then get gen okay and for all time get genus okay let me see the commands get okay so in the command.conf i have given a wrong script file name let me change the script file name tmdb pin get genus continue this if is taking python change generally you should not do any kind of restart Okay, let me check. I think this one I was missing. Return genus. I have added that. This one dot loads. Let me see if any addition is okay. So this is the problem. So Notepad has this good feature. So all characters, you will see what characters you have. Uh, you have uh, put it over there. So I'm removing it. Now let's see my get generator is working or not. Yeah. If you see here, so for each and every generator, it it created a row with the corresponding data. so it just like a normal splunk command you can use this command for your own purpose in any kind of purpose so this is how you create uh, custom commands in splunk so in this video we only discussed about how to create generating custom commands in next video i will discuss about how to create reporting custom command and and streaming custom command as well see you in next video